Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly weigh-in. Welcome back to club night. Yes, I have moved my office around. It needs work. I appreciate that. So, you know, we will see me do this space over a little while, but I've had to move around. So, first of all, how have you done? How has your week been? Um, how was mine? Well, okay. Oh, first of all, before I carry on, um, I've got something coming up the rest of the week, so it may mean that the next upload you see is another weekly weigh-in, which will be next Tuesday. So my one eating a day and when I'm supposed to start the Sunday sort of meal prep and reset. So I'll probably start the week after. Uh, if you see them, great. If you don't, don't worry. It's kind of planned for. I will explain later. Um, not later in this video, but later after it does or doesn't happen. Anyway, so yes, how have you been? How has your week been? Let me know. Um, as a result as well, I may not be in the comments at the same time as this video goes live, but I will definitely respond to you because, you know, I love our chat and I've had some really lovely chats with you over the last week. So I want to thank you all for participating, for, for getting involved, for sharing your journeys. I really appreciate you, every single one of you that's there. So thank you so much to you all before I really get started. So how's this week been? Right, I've um, done all my usual stuff, meditation, all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. I've done all that. Um, calories were down this week. I had one day of really, really low calories. Um, I was trying out something else for a work lunch. That I was trying out cauliflower rice. If you saw my Instagram, it was on there. I was trying out cauliflower rice just to see whether it would keep me full. Um, just for the sake of trying it, I guess. And it did, which meant my calories were really down that day. So my calories, ca calories, <laughs> calories averaged out at 1,626-ish. Uh, for, for that week which is really shy of the 19 something that I kind of like should be on um, but then by the time I got angry it was too late da, 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 da. so and you would have seen that in my I think I probably spoke about it in my one day vlog that you were seen last Friday oh and that was a trial as well it wouldn't export then it wouldn't upload and then YouTube kept injecting it so apologies it's fraught of technical errors at the moment um, yeah so Calories were down. Um, my steps were around 6,000. So, you know, not the eight. I did manage to get up for a walk, as you saw, which was really nice. Um, it's nice to see the weather turn in a bit. Mm, what else? Didn't get to do my yoga. Um, what else? So, for me, really, it's been... It's been a bit of an interesting week in the sense that the more I try and push my calories to what my maintenance should be, I don't know whether I'm consciously, well not consciously, whether I'm subconsciously pulling my calories in or my body is saying to me, well actually you don't normally eat that much so I'm not getting hungry enough. But one thing I have done for definite is I've really started putting the calories into the meals except for my one eight in a day on Thursday, Friday, when you saw it, um, which I had a lolly and a cookie. But but I think the difference is, is the fact that um, I kind of have it because I kind of want it, not because I need it. What I mean by that is, is that previously, I think I used to rely on calories, uh, calories, I used to rely on snacks, to subsidize my meals so that I would keep my meals lower in calories which meant that halfway you know between meals I would want to eat something so then I was like I need to keep calories for the snacks and really what I've noticed by pushing my calories back to maintenance is that because I'm increasing my meals because like I said to you before I don't want to chuck loads of snacks in here I'm finding that I don't want those snacks anyway I don't want them in between I am not hungry I don't I don't need them as a crutch to get me through to the next meal and that has been I mean I've been trying to sort of reduce my snacks anyway you know all the time but it's been really interesting this week to see that by putting the calories into the meals and actively bulking my meals up which is something I wouldn't have done before because I would be trying to keep as many calories back as I could just in case I needed it I found that I just haven't needed it 
So that was a really interesting observation and it's given me a little bit more thought around making sure that my meals are high in calories, they are filling healthy whole foods because then it kind of squeezes the snacks out. So it's about adding things into your day rather than taking things out. So the more you add in, the more squeezes out the stuff that you'd rather not have, if that makes sense. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, what to improve for this week going forward? I think it's trusting myself that I'm doing the right thing because I still think there's a little bit of a, a niggling doubt and I think that's natural, that's normal to try something new and have doubts as to how well it's going to work. So again, feeding myself, trusting the process, that's what I need to plan, um, that's what I need to plan on doing this week. And that was, again, my my tweak for this week is, is plan it better, plan more and, and, and trust in it. So, how did I do this week? Anyway, I lost 0.2 of a pound. So, interesting, even though I'm trying to push my calories up, and I think it goes to show that that thing about your body sort of drives for homeostasis, it drives you to be where you were. And because I was in that deficit for so long, it's like as if my body's driving me to go back to it. So I've now got to actively push it the other way. Now that's a problem I never thought I'd have. I never thought I would have a problem getting my calories in. Never, ever, ever. But here we are. New thing for all of us, guys. Um... Yeah. Oh, email. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's it for this week. Short and sweet, I know, because other than that one observation, not much has changed, I guess. I'm still working at it. I'm still working at increasing my calories back to maintenance so that then I can drop back into a deficit after and that I don't have to drop my calories to a silly low in order to lose weight. That makes sense so yeah so more of the same for next week like i said let me know how you've done let me know you know because actually there's there's um quite a few of you that are actually thinking about the same thing um so it's really it's, it's an interesting thing and it's, it's interesting to wonder well you know it should work you know science says it should work but you know we're all different each to their own um anyway yeah stop rambling now i will see you whenever the next one is bye guys <laughs>